Question number 3 says that find the product of the given numbers in each of the bits. So before we start getting into finding the product of the given numbers, what we have to understand is whenever we have a decimal number which is multiplied to a number which is a power of 10, the decimal will move towards right as many places as many zeros do we have in the number which is a power of 10. So to start with we have the first bit wherein we have 1.3 times 10. So there is one zero so the decimal will move one place towards right. So our answer comes as 13 for the first bit. Coming to the second bit we have 36.8 times 10. So the decimal will again move by one place towards right and the answer that we get for the product of 36.8 and 10 is 368. Coming to the third bit we have 153.7 multiplied with 10. So the decimal is moved one place towards right and the answer that we get for it is 1537. Coming to the fourth bit we have 168.07 multiplied with 10. So the decimal moves one place towards right and now its position will be 1680.7. So this is the answer that we get for the fourth bit. Moving on to the next set of bits. In the fifth bit we have 31.1 multiplied with 100. So there are now two zeros. So the decimal will be moving two places towards right. That is 1 and 2. So as there is no digit after moving the decimal by two places, we can add there a zero. So the answer that we get for the product of these two numbers is 3110. Coming to the 6th bit, we have 156.1 multiplied with 100. So we again move the decimal by 2 places. There is no digit after 1. So that can be filled with a 0. And the answer that we get for it is 15610. That is 15610. Coming to the 7th bit, we have 3.62 multiplied with 100. Decimal will be moving two places towards right and the product that we get for the two numbers is 362. Coming to the 8th bit, we have 43.07 multiplied with 100. So the decimal again will be moving two places towards right and the answer that we get is 4307. Moving on to the next set of bits. In the ninth bit, we have 0 0.5 times 10. So the decimal will be moving one place towards right and the product that we get is 5. Coming to the tenth bit, we have 0 0.08 multiplied with 10. Decimal moves one place towards right and comes between 0 and 8. So the answer that we get is 0 0.8. In the eleventh bit, we have 0 0.9 multiplied with 100. So the decimal moves two places towards right. As there is no digit after 9, that can be filled with a 0. So the answer that we get is 90. Similarly, solving the 12th bit, which is the last bit of this question, we have 0 0.03 multiplied with 1000. As there are three zeros, we'll be moving the decimal three places towards right. That is 1, 2 and 3. Now, as there is no digit after 3 that can be filled with a 0 and the product that we get is 30 and this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.